सो है गाइज वेलकम बैक वन सेकेंड सो एवरी वन इज जस्ट टेलिंग टू कम्प्लीट दिस अपलोड दिस लैब एंड आई एम रियली रियल सॉरी गाइज आई आई वॉज लिटल विट बिजी विथ सम वर्क विथ इन साइड माई कॉलेज सम प्रोजेक्ट हार्डवेयर कॉम्पिटिशन एंड सम अदर स्टफ एग्जिबिशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड आई वॉज रियली बिजी एंड आई विल बिजी मोर आफ्टर टू और थ्री डेज so but we'll complete it soon so let's start it today and this is i think 6th uh, lab no of this series so let's start it first click in on this demand course okay that's great got this message close it and uh, what here what is this and click this here we can start this lab okay so these are the video and first uh, and uh, then i can start this lab no so let me watch this video quickly okay so these are the answers for this quiz cloud computing and google cloud of this module 1 this first quiz so these are the answers you can see it i will scroll down slowly yeah these are the pretty simple answers okay so let me start this lab okay before i start in this lab uh, this is the second quiz so the first answer for the equation what is the best level organizing entity that creating using the google cloud resource and service that is the project and the second answer will be zone and the region and uh, third answer will be our journal what types of resources compute in the virtual machine that is journal okay so let's go for the third quiz and these are the simple answer just what uh, in the google cloud resource hierarchy is your billing setup that is project and what types of quota reset at regular interval that is red quota so that was pretty simple so let's go for the next quiz okay for this quiz interacting with google cloud which or which of these ways to interact with interact with uh, give you access to google cloud and connect command that is cloud cell and cloud sdk submit it that's it okay you can take it multiple times it doesn't affect any types of score okay and let's start this lab because there is only one video and you can start this lab okay guys so it's time to start this lab and this is the first lab for this module 1 and this is a course 6 i think now so let's start this lab click a start lab button i'm not okay let me do okay so we are ready this is the first uh, lab this is in the google cloud console and cloud cell okay so this could be pretty simple no? there is only four tags So our first task is to create a bucket PM instance with the necessary firewall rule and then cloud service account. Okay. So let's go for the task one. So for task one, we have to go to project information. You can skip this thing. And uh, okay, we have to go for the storage cloud storage. So go inside this cloud storage. You can search it here, or you can go through this navigation menu. Same thing. Okay, so this is basically cloud storage window. Now click this create button, and uh, there, copy your project ID. It is always unique. Paste it there, and uh, click continue. And choose how to control access project. Uncheck enforcement public. You have to uncheck those thing. Again, click continue. Again, click it. Okay, uncheck this ready check box. Enforce public access, and uh, now select fine grain. Change this option to fine grain. So uncheck it and change this one to fine grain, and uh, click continue. Leave all other variables as default, and click create. Now scroll down. Click just create button. That's it. So this way we have created our first cloud storage. Now we'll create a virtual machine. 
so we have to go inside this compute engine and we have to click retention button and this is the name so copy it first vm as a name cloud storage is ready now open this compute engine window there we will create instance and region will be u central 1 zone will be u central c machine type will be to be cpu ok now click this create instance button and uh, there here is the name so let it load quickly ok now we can make some necessary changes first copy this name and uh, replace this instance one name and paste it there I have to change the region to US Central 1 and C so this is uh, by default is selected A so change it to C and for machine type we have to what we have to do to see the program estimate click detail machine type okay, machine type E2 E2 V2 E2 micro E2 micro so series will be E2 and E2 micro V2 CP1 E2 standard 2 Yeah, this one is standard version no? E2 is standard 2 not the micro one no no we have to change it to E2 is standard 2 for machine type V2 CPU E2 is standard 2 how does the cost change it mm, ok for machine type something like this the micro is Remix is inexpensive for firewall. Mm, click for firewall. Let's scroll down. Where is firewall section? This one, no. Allow HTTP and leave everything as the default. And uh, wait until PM is created. Okay, we can go with anyone. I think just uh, scroll down, click this create button, and this is done. You can go with this one, or you can go with this one. Now scroll down. They have not mentioned which one to use. Just now going with this one. And uh, have to open the name configuration. Click edit. Click the pencil icon. Top to first VM instance. Just scroll down. Availability policies, click cancel. Okay, now create a service account. We'll go to IM service account. Okay, let it ready. Now let it be first ready. Or you can go there. No, so go to this navigation menu and uh, there we have to go for a service account section. So click it and you have to add a service account name as test account copy it and wait you okay, can now click this plus button create service account it we are inside this so select this service account then you can see this option paste it there ok and create and continue create and continue then on the grant this service account access to this project basic role to the editor basic uh, role to editor and then you have to click continue then done button and it is done mm. ok you have to click this three dot click manage key click add key create new queue and that's it scroll down and uh, close this tutorial section and this is the account we have just created now so click this three dot go to manage key and just wait on this screen ok so this is a new window add key create new key and click create and this is done 
now I can check my progress good ok this in case letter step you need is ok know the location ok let's go for the tax to the cloud cell okay, I think we have to do something inside this cloud cell now ok so let's activate it so click this icon let's wait a little bit ok so this is our cloud cell so after activating cloud cell what you have to do you have to copy this code and uh, paste it there copy your project id and uh, remove this message paste it there press enter key then second line code okay paste it there bucket name 2 so bucket name replace bucket name the name of the first bucket from the tax one you can choose bucket name 2 place the full placeholder okay for bucket name 2 paste your project id and uh, also the last character that is c so i'll press one c more and press enter that's it now copy this third code paste it there and it is done now what we have to do ok copy this credentials press ctrl plus j open your download folder and press f2 paste this name credentials dot json so finally we renamed it and uh, then after in the cloud cell click this three dot and uh, we have to go for this upload option ok click this upload option choose a file and go to download section here it is ok now click this upload button after selecting your file clearly just choose the file click select that credential autosation file and uh, click upload button and uh, upload to transfer the credential file and click x icon to close the file upload pop-up window in the cloud cell type now that the file was uploaded ok so copy this thing close this and uh, yeah you can see this file name so file is uploaded that's great now let's create a second cloud storage bucket and verify it is in the cloud console so copy this code paste it here press enter key click authorize and uh, scroll down and uh, now I'll copy this code and paste it there and then after mm, okay, copy this code paste it there new central one say just let's go with this one first one central one c copy and paste it there and after that let's go for this step 5 and uh, this code to create a vim instance ok that's great 
so this will take a little bit time so you can wait for this step to be completed okay so this is finally completed now copy this code from the seventh line and uh, paste it there and you can skip this thing copy this code and uh, paste it there just go with step one by one by step everything is good ok so account is created and let me check my progress that's it now copy this code paste it there and after that mm, you can see the another service account will be listed there ok that's no problem now let's go for the tax 3 and copy a picture anyway copy this code first one paste it there ok it is done now copy this one paste it there and the copy from the third line and scroll down mm, copy this code from the second one for the second tag set the access control list ok so where everything is fine we won't got any error so just copy this code and paste it there ok and we have received similar code that's great now go for this third line just follow this uh, step one by one and uh, first uh, ok we can go for the step four and just run it ok good now final and this is the last code your active configuration is yeah ok again run this code just follow every code one by one from top to bottom nothing to be worry to be worry just copy and paste this code one by one that's enough for this lab this is super easy to switch to the lab account execute the command replacing username providing the qlab connection detail panel so this is the username copy it and remove this username message and paste it there press enter key that's it and now this command just follow the instruction one by one and we can complete this lab quickly very simple it is and uh, just wait ok set the first one create notice that you have something copy this url ok just wait a little bit and let's see yeah up to here everything is perfect you can go for the tax to open this editor click this open editor button and wait a little bit ok so our editor window is ready now what next to do we have to run this command in terminal so copy this code again open this terminal box paste it there press enter key and uh, then copy this code paste it there ok mm, the test folder now appears in the left panel in the cloud cell editor so on this folder right click in the following text as the last line of the kernel.sh file 
Oke, okay, wait. Okay, expand this folder. Clean up the .ss file, and we need to add the following text as the last line. So this is the last line. So paste it at the eighteenth line in this assets. No. this as you know as it and after adding that thing no extension is necessary to save no extension is necessary to save your work on the display okay so copy this thing open this terminal and paste it there okay run this code once again and in the cloud cell editor click open file menu and choose new file and save this file in orchid kubernetes folder and name it as a index name it as a index okay so we have to create a new file inside which folder this one folder so click this open editor and uh, this is basically a folder inside this folder there is two folders so we have to in the cloud cell editor click open file menu and choose new file save this file in orchid with kubernetes Kubernetes folder and name this as index. Okay, so copy this index.html file and uh, right click at this folder, create new file, paste those name, click OK, and it is done. And uh, in the right editor, copy this command, paste it there. Cat URL. Replace it the URL of the image of the cat. Maybe this one. Let me see. Or should I have to go in browser section? And there I have to find no. It doesn't appear. So what I have to do? I have to go for this compute engine. I mean cloud storage. And there I have to find cat image open the first one and let's see where it is that this is the cat and uh, public access so copy this URL and uh, replace it here that's it so after replacing there and the first okay so after replacing there you can save this file and uh, what you have to do you have to go for this compute engine inside this compute engine we have to go for the SS window ok so let this instance page to be ready ok so click this SS first VM SS button click this first one and just wait let this window is to be ready ok so this is ready now so when it is ready, copy this whole code, paste it there and press enter key and this may take a few minutes, ok no problem and if it promote to, we need to type y and we have to continue that step, ok so type y and press enter 
and uh, once it is completed we need to run this code so let's wait ok so this is done now paste this code and press enter and uh, if it won't do ok so again press y button and press enter and uh, for fast phrase press enter key press enter key once more and uh, okay, copy this code and we need to wait here a little bit okay so we have got some problem because uh, our running this code 16 line code inside this SSH login window we have to run this code inside our cloud cell ok so copy this code and uh, run it here press y enter and press enter key for input passphrase and just wait you yeah, see they have mentioned we have to run inside the cloud cell and uh, after that step after this step ok so this step is completed now copy this code and paste it there ok so we have got some error no such files are directed why it is so because you have to run inside this SSS window oh sorry ok so let me start this window it is just closed again click this SSH button and just wait ok copy this code and uh, let's wait here a little bit ok now paste this code and uh, let's check our progress yeah that's it so this was easy and this is the last lab why I want getting this is yeah, I got it so make sure in this is step 5 what we have to do just we have to open this cloud cell yeah and run this code in this cloud cell editor and then second line of code inside the same cloud cell editor and after that you have to open this editor and uh, click this button go right click and use a new file with this name now and add this code inside this clean.ss button um, clean.ss file not the button and save it there and run this code inside the cloud cell and also run this code and uh, then after we have to create a new file name something like this in this side so this folder and save it there and after doing this thing you have to add this html file inside something like this and then after replace the image yeah this url we are talking about and after that we have to open this vm which one this one ssh window and then we have to run this code after running this code we have to run this code inside this this window no this cloud cell window I mean inside this cloud cell terminal and uh, again in this we have to run this code inside where inside this ssh window here so just read this instruction don't forget it where we have to run this code we will get some error something like this no so that's it I can end this lab and this was super easy just took little bit time otherwise it is very simple so let me sign out and I can close this window too and let's see there is a quiz 
so let me start it quick okay so let me show you this quiz answers for this module one so the first question answer will be Kubernetes in cluster and for the second one it's wrong you can go with uh, cloud SDK so this could be the right answer and for the third question you can go for the create a new folder inside your organization and create a project inside that folder for the resource so this is the correct answer and for this fourth question you pay only for the resource you consume so this is the correct answer and for this question 5 set up the budget and a lot for the project level for the project product so this is the correct answer so this was super simple now so finally we have completed our first module and uh, we can go for the second one so let me watch this video quickly then we will start this lab and these quizzes so basically there is one lab and uh, here let me see there is here second two lab ok so up to here there is two lab and this one is third lab and this one is fourth lab so there is only four labs left for this course to complete ok so let me do this quick Okay guys, so let's uh, start the second module, Introduction to Container and Kubernetes. So this is the lab. So let's uh, start it working with Cloud Build. Okay, so we are ready. So let's see the instructions. So we have to start the lab. And uh, let's go for the tax one. First, uh, confirm that need APIs page are enabled cloud build so copy this text go to this navigation menu it is service and library go to the library section and search it there no so we'll search it there just let this windows to ready okay now this cloud build api and uh, cloud build api this one no open it yeah it is enable if not make sure it is enable just click that enable button as mentioned inside this text step 5 and uh, scroll down let's go for the tax to building a container with the docker file and the cloud build ok first we have to activate the cloud cell so let's activate it and uh, then create an empty file using the nano editor ok copy it and just wait ok so paste this code and uh, press enter key so this is a new file and uh, copy this text paste it there and uh, save this file and then this code press ctrl x y and enter that's it and the new code add the following command add the following docker command paste it there press ctrl x y and enter that's it and uh, copy this code paste it there ok add the flowing docker command to at the end of docker oh sorry again copy this code open this same file and uh, we have to add this command to there just go to the end paste it there and uh, add and the flowing copy it again press enter key paste it there 
and uh, docker file look like something like this from copy quicker yeah same no and now you can save this control x y and enter so after saving that things copy this code paste it there and uh, this code click authorize and uh, just wait okay this is done and do not miss dot at the end of this command okay just copy this click at this button it will copy everything correctly okay once it is ready navigate to content registry appears in the list okay mm, we can directly go to the tax 3 you can just go and see that there it must be available at that location okay now let's move to the tax 3 inside the cloud cell enter the flowing command so copy it paste it there and press enter key and the second line of code okay this is just downloading the file now this is cloning this file from this location okay so this is done now copy and paste this code this one code from the second line okay this is done now third line okay a simple custom build something like this has been provided directly something like this okay copy this code paste it there that's it and now copy this code okay and paste it there and uh, okay so let this step to complete we'll check our progress okay so the process is completed I can check my progress and uh, it is done now click the bolt ID for the stop list little okay now let's go to the tax for okay let me check this progress good we can go to the tax for building and testing the container with the build configuration file go cloud build okay now just copy this text I mean code paste it there and uh, the second line code paste it there and third line code just copy and paste it one by one let's go for the fourth line fourth line now paste it there and uh, let's wait a little bit why it is very very slow no ok so let's see your output ok so we have got something like this and and after running this code we are getting one so that's it just run this code one by one and this is done I can in my lab and this was super easy no very simple just follow this instruction and it is done so this lab is completed and let's go for this quiz ok guys so let's uh, start this third fourth third or fourth module this is third module so we've just completed this one so let's uh, start this third module and this th first live inside this third module so let me start this ok so we are ready so I have logged in carefully here I mean successfully now let's for see this lab setup 
let's start this lab that's great and uh, okay use the cluster not engine create cluster begin create cluster click configure standard you manage and uh, change the cluster name something like this if you know the cluster deployment to complete okay so let's go for the tax one first we have to go for the current engine so copy this text can I go for the navigation menu Kubernetes engine yeah it is here and we have to go for the cluster so inside this Kubernetes engine go to this cluster section cluster so or you can search it cluster directly at this so paste it or you can search it there same thing as your wish ok so this is the window where we have to perform close this one ok so here click create to begin cluster click this create button and uh, click configure for a standard standard this one is a standard one so click configure button and then after change the cluster name to standard use uh, standard cluster 1 cluster name to standard cluster 1 something like this standard cluster 1 ok just rename it zone to US central 1A US central 1C change it to US central 1A and leave everything as a default value and uh, click create button so just click it that's it just change the zone and the name everything is fine and you need to wait few minutes so let's wait ok so finally this is ready your cluster is ready now I can check my progress I have already got this 5x score so this will give us green checkbox how many tasks you have to do? You have to do three tasks. Yeah. Now click this cluster, click the storage node, tab under the cluster name, add this tab to view the more cluster detail. Okay. And let's go for the tax too. You have to modify the cluster. Click Kubernetes engine cluster standard one. Click node at the top of the detail pane. Okay. Click this name. just click this name and um, click notes at the top of this title page ok just wait and clip it and uh, there in the node pole select default pole ok let this image to be <coughs> ok so this is ready now let's read this instruction so once the now click the notes so just change this tab from detail to node section and inside this node section in the, no in the node pool select default pool in node pool it is already default pool no node pool it is already set over default pool ok in the cloud console click this size at the top click this name default pool and just wait ok now you can click this resize button no click default ok so click default pool and uh, you can click this resize button and uh, change the number from 3 to 4 so change it to 4 select it you can type 4 click resize and there Okay, so this will take some time. No. 
ओके एनीवे लेट्स वेट द अपडेट इज कंप्लीटेड वी कैन चेक आवर प्रोग्रेस टिल देन जस्ट वेट ओके सो दिस इज अपडेटेड नाउ सो लेट्स चेक आवर प्रोग्रेस या गुड सो वी हैव completed this second task also now let's move to the thought tax what we have to do you have to go to the cover engine we are already here so we have to go where we have to go for workload so it is at the second position so click it and uh, click deploy okay so click this deploy button and uh, click continue click continue and uh, click deploy leaving configuration detail as a default monkey scroll down click this deploy button that's it nothing to be changed there just stay on this screen okay so this is ready and let's check this progress good so finally we have completed this lab also and this was one of the easiest lab just took uh, time inside creating this cluster otherwise this was super easy okay so finally we have completed this lab too and uh, we can move to the next module that is this is the last module and there is two lab no yeah so let me start it quickly okay guys so let's uh, start this is the last second last lab of this fourth module doxender covenant workload so let's uh, start it okay guys so we are ready so let's go to the lab setup page you have to start using concrete window you have to activate the cloud cell so let's activate it then we run this code the cloud size list no and uh, for the tax one create a development manifesto and deploy to the cluster okay first we need to run this code click this continue okay before running this code i would like to run this first the cloud size list code so let's run it and click authorize got it and now we can start from the tax one so first go with the code add this is step one copy the same code paste it there that's it and the second line code and then the third one then after the fourth one and uh, fifth one okay this will take some time so let's wait okay so this is done now copy this code from the fifth line paste it here and the sixth line done now let's create a development manifesto integrating the so called so this is basically example what we have to do we have to copy this code from the tax one and paste it there and uh, a second code up time 3 yeah same output wait for a few seconds repeat the move step because there shows 0 available okay so you got some value at this available section and if I check my progress this will this must give yeah now you can move to the tax too 
we have to go for Kubernetes engine so inside this navigation menu it is here just below this compute engine go to workload yeah, Kubernetes engine workload and we have nginx development so just wait here okay so we are inside this workload and uh, it is here so expand it and um, at the top action scale it to ok we have to scale so wait come on this is really really slow I don't understand why this is maybe because of your internet ok we have to go a little bit back so let's go back and the workload window and there we will see this option on the top click action ok so select it where is the action button click in this development no it is inside there so open it yeah here is the action button and uh, there ok where did it go it is here action button and uh, go to scale no yeah you can see this option edit is replica to one scale edit replica to one scale edit replica and change it to one click scale and it is done this action will take some time see ok so this is done this don't talk a lot of time now let me run this code inside the cloud cell ok one by one interval level one and uh, this code and then scaled ok good now run this code from the fourth line ok it is equal to three nice now we can move to the task three Trigger development rollout and development rollback. Mm, first, we have to copy this code from the line number one, paste it here, and uh, the second code. Then, after go with this third one, okay, we need to wait here a little bit. So, let's wait. So this is done. Now paste this code we just copied. Okay, this one is from the step three. I can check my progress here. Okay, this is done. Now copy this code from the fourth line. Paste it there. Just follow the instruction. Follow one by one. You will get no any error. Just I'm going with this instruction one by one, serially. Okay, don't miss anything. And uh, up to here, it is done. Now we can go for the task four. And uh, first of all, copy this code from the line number one of task four and uh, this is done now copy this one code just a scroll and run the code whatever you find ok extra life is pending next life is appear ok let me check this progress 
Okay, we need to wait there. Till then, just run the hook code. Okay, nothing happened. So let's wait. Okay, so our external IP is ready. And uh, what next we can do? And if I check my progress, it is done. I can move for the tax 5. Okay, so copy this code, paste it here, and the second code. Then after, I can go for the third one. Then the fourth one. And uh, let's check this progress. Please create a candidate development. Okay, let's run this the last code once again. Okay, so finally got this score. Just keep checking it. Everything is fine. No need to be worried. It will take some time. So that's it. I can end this lab. So this was so simple. No any trick. Just a simple step to follow and also don't forget to sign out and uh, you can start the last lab so let me do it quickly <laughs> okay guys so we are ready and this is the last lab for this sixth lab of this series okay so let's uh, start it quickly okay guys so we are ready <sighs> now first let's see what you have to do you have to log in we need this cloud cell so let's activate it okay so our cloud cell is ready and now run this z cloud authorized list code and uh, let me minimize this navigation menu okay now it's look little bit good click this authorize and it is done yeah now scroll down let's go for the tax one copy this code paste it here, press enter, that's it copy the second code, paste it there, press enter copy this third code, paste inside this cloud cell and it is done ok, scroll down, let's go for this create and apply manifesto with B PVC mm, copy this code, paste it there, press enter and uh, it once it is done, we'll co run this second code. Code from the second line, I mean. So till then, let's wait. Okay, now copy this code from the second line, and this step is completed. Now we can run this code. And uh, copy this third code. And the fourth one. then after this fifth one and finally the sixth one after that we need to check our progress so let's see everything is ok or not ok let's run this last code once again Okay, I think it is ready now. Keep checking this progress. Still, we need to wait. Okay, let me check this. Yeah, fine. We can move to the tax two now. And I'll copy this code, paste it here, and. Uh, the second code if you do this quickly after creating ports you will see the status listed as you can change it to running to verify that ok just run this code and uh,
okay so after running this code from third line run this code here carefully and just type there something little bit mistake there now copy this code from the fifth line paste it there and the output something like this no Okay, let me exit here and uh, you will now delete the port and from the delete the maintain the act. Okay, let me s start from there. Okay, let's uh, start this cloud cell. I think I've did some mistake there. That this is step for what? Maybe. Okay, let's see if there is any mistake. Just follow this step, guys, one by one, and you will get everything's done. Maybe there is a mistake from this point. I think. So let me see this once again after running this code and uh, there control V and uh, this one code and then the last one good there was a mistake now paste this code one by one and uh, this one just go one by one instruction everything is fine there what no resource found in the default namespace set it said no resources found in such okay let me run this code from the step 3 yeah it's here no now if I run this code error the path doesn't exist okay anyway let's go for this code from the sixth line and the seventh one yeah, it will not work I know let's check our progress good just follow the instruction I missed maybe I have missed something now let's go for the tax 3 mm, now let's run this code ok I am not able to run this code because I have to change those directory so to change those directory where should I go let me see I can ok this one mm, not there paste it there cd for the storage ok let's see up to tax 2 it is completed and tax 3 2 or it is remain now up to tax it is done now go for this tax 3 copy it ok still it says not found no resource found in the default namespace no resource found in the default namespace yeah no problem now I scroll down copy this paste it there click apply it says created service successfully created 
now let's verify this thing yeah same message paste it there and once again paste this text and the last one let's check our progress it is ready i think no mm -hmm. just follow the instruction guys maybe i missed there something no maybe it is good now let's go for the tax for oh this is completed so i can end this lab and this was super easy just follow this instruction you will complete within 10 minutes no you can see that uh, i have missed there lots of code and still i have got this lab done so let's go to the home section and uh, finally we have completed okay there one thing is left inside this module that is interaction to Kubernetes quiz this one okay let me do this quickly so this is done let's go to the home section and uh, okay so congratulations we want this patch for completing yeah that's it guys thank you i mean <laughs> congratulations to everyone this was super easy lab nothing to be worried just follow this instruction one by one and you will get this completed so let's see inside our profile this patch must be listed there with the two digit 6 december okay there is a, a lot of gap i think six days gap no anyway guys we will complete all the batches quickly so we have completed up to six batch only and most of my friends have already completed this module i mean this learning path S i have seen some um, someone has already posted inside uh, mm, in, the, in linkedin and there i saw they have already completed this whole so let's start this uh, logging and getting started with Twitter from from tomorrow and then this won't take longer time this quest one no they have only labs a lot of labs so we'll do it quickly don't worry this will be super easy and this will be quicker than this course one so guys see you soon thank you